Do you find using Zoom to teach challenging? You may be using PowerPoint slides to teach, but this is too common with teachers and can easily bore your students if done the wrong way. I want to share with you a method that you can use to teach your students using Zoom as if you are teaching them in a real classroom situation where you write on a whiteboard with your hand. First, I will show you how it appears to the students and then I will retrace the steps so that you can repeat the steps with your online class. Hello and welcome. My name is Kagwe Monroe from ICT for Teachers, the place where teachers come for tips on how to use ICT to teach. Today, I will show you how you can use Zoom to teach the way you normally do in a real classroom situation. But first, if you're new here and want to be notified each time we release a new video, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell. So let's head over to the lesson where I show you how it is all done. We are at the point where I'm just about to launch the Zoom meeting as the host, as the teacher. So I'll go to new meeting over here and you can see immediately my video pops up as the teacher. Now there are two cameras here which are capturing this recording. Number one, um, I want to record the lesson. So when you launch the Zoom meeting, you will always be seeing this recording. It means it is recording that, it will record that meeting as a video. At the end of it, when you quit the meeting, it will give you a video of what you recorded. So I'm taking time to record that. But at the same time, I'm recording the whole of this screen. For instance, I've just shown you, let me put this one away. I've just shown you what you do when you are launching a meeting. I want to put that one away so that now I concentrate on the situation where I want to share a screen with the student. So you will go to this tab here, green tab, written share, then click on that arrow and then you will have all the files which you can be able to share with the student. You will go to the advanced tab here, this one, the tab written advanced click on it and then on the far right you will see content from second camera there are two cameras i'm using here there is that camera which faces me directly and that is what enables the student to see me all through and then there is another one that i have here this camera it's a webcam it captures what i'm going to write with the hand because over here i have a whiteboard and I have markers and I'm going to write with my hand because I don't want to use the whiteboard which comes with the zoom. The reason I don't want to use that is because for me to be able to do that, I need a graphics tablet. I know there are teachers out there who don't have graphics tablet and you cannot annotate the whiteboard if you don't have a graphics tablet. It becomes very difficult to do that. You cannot write with the mouse. And uh, maybe you're in such a situation and you just happen to have two cameras. What you can do is you can use one of the cameras to capture a whiteboard or a manila paper where you are going to write with your hand using feltments or using markers. And that is the option I want to show you today. So when it comes to sharing, I'll go to the content from the second camera, click on it and you can see it gets highlighted. And then I will click share. As soon as I do that, you can see now the video from that camera goes to the top right hand side. You can see it goes here and that is what we are used to. And then your PowerPoint slide fills here. But this time it's not a PowerPoint slide. It is a screen or it is a whiteboard where now I can do the actual writing with my hand. So in such a situation, I'm able to address the student using that camera, 
like for example now when i'm talking directly to that camera you can be able to see there at the far right that video of myself i'll be addressing the student and then i can focus the attention of the student onto the whiteboard as i'm doing right now so i want you to pretend just for a moment that you are a student and here i am and i want to teach you a concept in my favorite subject which is physics i want to teach you about an inclined plane and i want to draw the inclined plane over here so today we are going to learn about the inclined plane i'm going to draw a line here which represents the horizontal ground and that plane would be a piece of wood which is slant like that and then that piece of wood makes an angle let's say theta that angle could be 15 degrees 20 degrees 30 degrees and so forth so theta represents that angle on the inclined plane i will put a block of wood this is a rough inclined plane so this block of wood does not slide down the incline because there is frictional force and let's show the weight of that block of wood so i will draw a line which points vertically downwards like that the arrow will indicate the weight which is definitely m g and then that weight will have a component down the incline which is mg sine theta this component is mg sine theta and there is a component which is perpendicular to that inclined plane like this which is mg cos theta m g cos theta how do i increase the indicate the frictional force between the block and the surface of the incline i draw an arrow pointing up the incline like that and i will say this is frictional force there is of course another force which is exerted by the incline perpendicular to the incline and away from the incline and this is referred to as the normal component of the contact force or normal reaction what students usually call the normal reaction those are the forces which are acting on this block and i have resolved one of them which is the weight so remember the forces acting will be the weight the frictional force and the normal component like that and then I can go ahead and resolve the weight. These are the two components of the weight. And that is how you show forces which are acting on an object on an inclined plane. So, let's go back to the fact that now you are a teacher. I've just shown you how you can use a whiteboard to teach your lessons when you are using Zoom. Because this one's something that you are used to in a real classroom situation. But when it comes to, to teaching your students, when you're online, that can become a bit of a challenge. Zoom has a solution for you. If you really don't want to use the whiteboard which comes with the Zoom, why don't you just get a small whiteboard like this one or even a manila paper and then you can use felt pens to write on the manila paper. The good thing with a whiteboard like this one is that you can erase because I can be able to, these are whiteboard markers and I'm able to erase everything after I'm through with the lesson and then I start on something else. Now, when you're doing this, remember that you're communicating with the students in real time. The student can be able to see you directly via that small video at the corner there and through what the student can be able to see over here and uh, 
you are able to communicate very, very well with your student. So there you are. That is a method that you can be able to use. But remember, you need two cameras. You need one which captures, captures you directly like this and another one which captures whatever you're trying to show to the student. And that's how it's done. You will agree with me that this method is not so different from what you're used to in a real classroom situation. So go right ahead and try it out. And let me know in the comments below where you encounter challenges or how you've been doing it before. So until next time, stay safe.